U.S. intelligence analysts estimate that thousands of foreign terrorists are fighting in Iraq, but not all of them are in it for the long haul. Many will eventually return to their native lands. North Africa is one region where large numbers are coming home, but not to settle down peacefully. We have seen the hand of uh, Iraq veterans coming back into Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, even Europe sometimes uh, with considerable skills, not only uh, bomb making, but also advanced counterintelligence. Terrorism analyst Alexei Debat says the Islamic Maghreb, an area stretching from Libya to Mauritania, has become an al-Qaeda breeding ground. I think the greater centralization, coherence, um, and, and the greater level of skill that we have seen emerge in the past few months with al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb really speaks to uh, how many of these Iraq vets have come back to their home countries and taken over the organization, essentially. While once dedicated mainly to overthrowing the Algerian government, al-Qaeda's branch here now wants to expand its operations into Europe. It received the backing of al-Qaeda's central command in Pakistan last year. Since then, the sophistication and frequency of its attacks in North Africa have increased. The deadliest attack occurred in April in the city of Algiers. 33 people were killed in that triple suicide bombing, the first in Algeria in over a decade. The tactics mirrored those used by al-Qaeda in Iraq. Multiple bombs, followed by pictures of the three bombers posted on an Islamic website. Counterterrorism experts believe more attacks like this could hit North Africa in the coming months, as fighters from the Iraq Jihad return to set up recruitment centers and training camps. Most of their training camps are in the Sahel. Uh, in the Sahara where the authorities cannot really get to them. It's a little bit like Afghanistan with the caves. I mean, such a deserted area that is controlled much more by tribes than by governments. Countries in the Islamic Maghreb, like Algeria and Morocco, are ramping up their counterterrorism efforts to stifle the growing al-Qaeda threat. But there's concern in Western capitals as well. French officials fear their large North African Muslim population could become radicalized and U.S. officials are discussing opening a military command in the region. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Washington.